Hey guys, um, welcome to Minorities and Lit. Today I'm going to be going over two folders for um, Minorities and Lit for the Monday Tuesday um, crew. So that's AA. Um, I'll be looking over here at my monitor to give you guys instructions. So as you guys can see, our most recent um, folder is called Activity 3, Analyzing Perceptions of American Identity. And so this blue folder here is your Monday Tuesday folder. Um, for these last uh, two days of school, and then your Thursday, Friday online folder is here. So let's start with where Activity 3 starts. Um, this was for in-class students only. This was for feedback on online assignments, the things that are in the Thursday, Friday folders um, for kiddos who are in class. Um, the Journal for Identity in Five Words was straightforward. Just pick five words and then that define you and then explain what would happen if people only saw one of those so there is an example here and um, if you only chose to write your five words I asked for more so uh, make sure that you did both parts since it does ask what are five words and what would happen if people only saw one so clicking next to the next assignment it was a discussion um, you picked one of these uh, sorry two of these six images one of them you had to label as American and the other had to, you had to label as minority and then explain your rationale. Um, so there's two examples here. Image one was titled or uh, labeled American um, in the example for reasons based on they voted for Trump, therefore they're democratic, they're standing up for their rights by demonstrating those are very American things. Um, the example then talks about image six and labels this one as minorities and discusses, uh, though it is unfair, these people are labeled as minority because their skin, because their appearance, they look other, they don't look American, um, they look Indian, and it it is uh, irrelevant whether their families lived here for the last seven generations. <laughs> they might be as American as I am, um, but because of their appearance, uh, get categorized as minority because their racial background. So that's uh what you're supposed to do if you want to read through these examples feel free um your assignment is to uh, analyze it by picking the two images and then giving two to three sentences per image and then step two is the meaningful reply read what other people have written and then respond to them so that's your job for discussion then there's two time writings time writing one is a five minute time writing um, and that was what is a minority in America and your job is to brainstorm first and so here's an example we took one minute in class to brainstorm and we thought through these brainstorming questions and also just questions that uh, we thought of when we brainstormed and just wrote down random words and thoughts and questions that we had in only one minute after one minute of brainstorming we were ready to write our actual response so that's where our time writing we only spent five minutes typing and we typed for five minutes. You can see that um, some people typed more, some people typed less, some people typed their brainstorm, uh, brainstorm some people didn't. Um, but the main idea is really to think through the question and then only spend five minutes writing about it. It's a timed writing on purpose. Um, that is to, to strengthen your writing ability, your timed writing ability, but also to, uh, to help you out with how long that you should be spending on this kind of assignment. So that was due Tuesday. The time writing two was also due Tuesday. And this one is the same idea, but instead of saying, what is a minority in America? You're asking, what is an American in America? Same idea, brainstorm first. After one minute of brainstorming, write a rockin' paragraph about what it means to be American. And you see some examples here. Um, and then again, I, I give you the example of a brainstorm uh, and uh, time writing. So. Those two timed ratings were due on Tuesday, along with the discussion. And so that is what our class got through. Um, well, apparently I have two of these. Um, for those of you who are online, it should have been due Monday. So I'll just edit that real quick, real quick so it shows that. We're online. Um, 
There we go. Because you guys didn't have necessarily this feedback section that we had. Um, those of you in the class, we did take NWEA, the testing that we take three times a year, and we took that on uh, Monday. So if you weren't in class on Monday, you need to make up your NWEA testing. So that was activity three with a journal and discussion and two times writings, um, which leads us to the Thursday, Friday folder this week, 9394, September 3rd and 4th. Um, your job is to read this excerpt from a novel by Luis Rodriguez, and it goes from high school to elementary school to middle school in that order. It comes from his uh, nonfiction narrative called Always Running. And he, uh, he started out, uh, he was born in Mexico, his mom and dad, he and his brother moved to uh, America, and um, dad was successful and wasn't successful, and so home didn't feel like such a success, and then his brother really took it out on him and would beat him up every day on the way home from school, and um, he didn't feel safe at school, as you'll read in here, in elementary school, and so um, his story goes that one day... Um, some gang members showed up to his elementary school, walked into the classroom, scared the teachers, freaked a bunch of kids out. Um, and though he was terrified, he saw these gang members and thought, wow, these guys have power. I want power. I'm going to join a gang. And so this uh, excerpt actually starts with, I began high school, a loco, uh, which is the uh, gang that he joined. So read the excerpt. When you're finished with the excerpt, uh, participate in the discussion. Your job is to respond to um, the following stem sentences. So what's the main idea in it? What's the thing you liked? What question you have? So this is just a response, a reflection. And then respond to other people. Um, notice that your response is supposed to be getting longer, 20 to 40 words long now. It used to be 15 to 30. So remember to include a connection, academic concept, a piece of research maybe, it could also include a question, thoughts that you have, connections that you made when you were reading that don't necessarily relate to your life, but maybe other texts, other movies, that kind of thing. Um, just remember that this is academic language. And this explanation here is only 48 words, and you only have to do up to 40. So it doesn't have to be long, you can see. It's like barely a sentence or two. So that's the discussion that you participate in after reading the Lewis Rodriguez text. And then your Friday is viewing this video, Danger of a Single Story, and then answering these eight questions. Um, notice that this is a submit assignment. You should not be answering in the comment section. Remember to use these instructions. Um, feel free to open a Google Doc so that you are able to um, save what you're writing. Just in case, as you're watching the video, you uh, something happens to Schoology and it and it times out or something. That way, you don't lose it. So, I just suggest two finger clicking, highlighting all eight questions, clicking on the highlighted space, copying it, and then two finger click here, paste. There are other ways to do it, but this is the easiest way to explain. Um, and you can even title it. Uh, danger of a single story. And then as you get the answers, just type in the answers. Cool. Once you are done, copy, two finger click, copy, go back to Schoology, and then open your submission box and follow this example here. That's the gray button called Submit Assignment. Then click the Create tab. It's the middle tab. Uh, and then paste your answer into the middle tab. Uh, it'll have a box like that in the middle tab once you have clicked the Submit here. And that's your assignment for Friday. So that's everything that we did this week for the um, folder titled Activity 3, Analyzing Perceptions of American Identity. We started here and ended here, which means next week we'll start with activity four. So enjoy. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Show up at conferences today. Have a great day.